Hello guys, I'm Dynamix here, uh, and today we're going to make a video about how to install Proton GE uh, or Wine GE Proton on uh, Lutris and Steam because, uh, for, from my experience, uh, I, I haven't found a single video that discusses how to install both of them at once because, like, if you watch a single video from Wine GE, you're gonna th think that Wine GE works in Steam and uh, and vice uh, vice versa, it works in um, uh, Lutris as well. But no, that's not the case. I I found that when I was troubleshooting uh, Forza Horizon 4, which didn't work apparently because of my hardware, uh, which is Nvidia. And uh, guys, uh, just a slight reminder: I'm sick today, so. Uh, if my voice is bad, uh, excuse me for that. It's not going to be the excellent video I wanted it to be, but still, at least you'll understand. So, uh, this is the repository here uh, for uh, Proton GE Custom here, uh, which is the Proton version, which is a, a one you install the Steam, which you can also see right um, here. See, this is uh, way, uh, where it goes. So, dot steam root and compatibility tools dot uh, d, and um, there's Wine GE Custom, which is the other thing, uh, which uh, goes into um, Lutris's directory, uh, which is under uh, Lutris Runners and Wine. And yeah, so let's get installing. And we've got I've picked uh, the uh, latest version here, but it should be the same uh, for all other versions uh, of Proton you won't want to install. At least if Steam does not change the folder uh, directory, um, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. So let's go for this. Um, so this is a GE Proton 825 uh, released, and uh, as you can see here, it's got the um, Proton 25 tar.gz right here, which we'll click and it will download right there, and we'll come back to as soon as that's downloaded. All right, so now the download is done, and uh, as you can see, it's 409 megabytes, and you'll notice that this version of uh, GE Proton 8.25 is actually bigger, so the Steam one, and now uh, the process is uh, just about e easy as it as easy as it gets. We just have to open the folder here, which is um, home, and uh, that's the home directory, by the way, if you were wondering. And uh, yeah, so in this case, uh, we're going to need to uh, show click show hidden files because. On def by default it's going to be like this, so you're not going to be able to see the dot files here. Uh, so you have to press show hidden files where you'll find uh, the Steam folder right there. And then you go to the Debian installation and here you can find compatibility tools.d and as you can see I've got Proton G, uh, GE 7.24 installed here which was the uh, tool I used for Frozer but it didn't work so uh, I mean I've still got it here just in case but uh, yeah, for, for most of you who are doing this for the first time and I think if you're watching this tutorial it's going to be the first time you're watching you're going to have to make a folder and rename it to this name right here let me just make sure that pops up very well compatibility.tools.d which does not have any spaces it's all connected and dot .d right there and then we've got a GE Proton version here and then uh, you've got this uh, file right here and what you can do with this file is you can extract it here so this is inside my hard drive so I usually don't like to mess around with my SSD too much because it's a DRAM cache list drive so uh, every time you write it to it it's going to be writing uh, to it multiple times so it's going to be degrading even faster than a uh, traditional drive so I just uh, do it in everything inside my uh, hard drive and then copy it into there you don't need to do that it's just what uh, why usually do uh, I mean I'm, I'm pretty like enthusiastic when I do it so uh, a lot of people don't even care they just mash their SSDs but for me uh, it's just like that and we've got GE Proton 8.25 here and as we can see and this is the latest version I recommend downloading uh, the latest version in terms of this but you can download older versions as well if you need specific uh, compatibility basically Okay, so 
Now, as we'll go and see, for example, in Forza, uh, I mean, it's not going to work. I didn't actually. I didn't try, but it's not going to work as uh, as of, as of now. I don't actually know if it's going to work or not. But still, it's not going to work in my mind. I think that's what uh, what's going to happen. But oh, I mean, my uh, my mileage may vary. And we've got GE Proton Seven uh, for twenty four here, and we uh, we can't see the uh, GE. Proton 8.25 uh, anywhere. So how do you bring it here? You you might ask. Um, well, it's very slim simple. You just have to turn off Steam, and that does not involve turning it off with just the X button. You just have to go up here and wherever else it is, and just like go into the system tray and exit Steam, basically. Or like if you can't see the system tray, if your DE does not have a system tray, you just go and uh, remove it from a process or something and now as we can see I'll, I'll just open steam right there and it should be available to us fingers crossed let's just open steam right there all right so as we can see here it's steam's open and fingers crossed we already have it here um we'll just have to make sure that's the case and there we go as you can see, it's just a matter of pressing 8.25. Uh, wait, what? Uh, it's glitching out the UI. I don't know why, but it's here. Uh, yeah, there we go. And you can just enable it here, and it will be all fine. And yeah, that's about it with Steam. Let's go over over to Wine GE Proton and showcase it how it happens on uh, how you can go through the same process on Lutris. And yeah, see you there. So, on this website we have Wine GE Proton 8.24. I can see this is a version behind. And uh, for Lutris, as you can see right here, Wine uh, slash Lutris, uh, that dash Lutris dash GE right there. Uh, and we just download the same tar.xz for a uh, file. And let's just wait for until the download finishes. And I will see you all when it does. So as we can see here, it has downloaded, and we're now in the uh, root of this uh, website, and uh, I mean this repository on GitHub. We've got the installation things here. You have to have uh, Wine installed on your system, Wine tricks, and you must have Wine dependencies installed on your system, which you can go and see right here. I'll have this all linked down below. Um, and you must have Vulcan drivers packages installed on your system and for that you can see this guide uh, which I'll have links down below as well and as you can see here uh, we just have to go to home username dot local share uh, lutris runners and wine so it's basically the same we just go to uh, the uh, users dot local here uh, share runners um where's runners we just find runners there we go oh yeah lutris then runners okay and and you can see a lot of them here because they all come pre-installed some of them and you can just open this which will extract here for the reasons i said before I, I mean, you, you don't need to in extract it here, I just do it because of my whole um, cheapness, I'll say I'm very cheap in that matter, but yeah, preparing to extract, uh, let's just wait until that does it, there we go, as you can see it's extracting pretty fast, and this one, as I told you, it's like uh, half the size, I don't know why, but still, uh, yeah, and let's just wait until it's done, and we can just drag and drop it into uh, the um, folder there and here we go we can just cut it or copy it doesn't matter I mean I just like to remove the clutter afterwards so I'll just delete that one and cut this one out just to make sure I don't waste a lot of space in my hard drive as well and yeah after you copy the f folder here you just have to uh, take this other folder and put it into wine uh, just like so and delete this one because I uh, yeah there we go 
now opening Lutris and as you can see right here in Age of Empires there we go we've got the GE Proton 824-86.64 uh, 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 I mean underscore 64 right there and we just can place it and we'll just launch the game with it just the same goes for Steam and you, see, you can see us configuring the files here and yeah so guys as you can see here Age of Empires is running and that's basically it for this video uh, if you have any questions free, uh, feel free to ask them down below if you liked the video please like it uh, if you want to see more videos like this uh, subscribe to the channel I also do gaming videos uh, occasionally and uh, if you have suggestions for other videos or like questions you want to uh, be answered uh, regarding Linux and uh, its problems uh, or, or uh, you want to s share some problems about your Linux installation you can just comment them back down below or uh, I'll be very happy to go through those comments and yeah I hope you enjoyed the video here and yeah I wish to see you in the next video bye